Welcome into the crypto bunker. Today we're going to be talking about three coins that I believe will be some of the best investments of 2022 and um, three coins that you should watch out for this year. Uh, first, I want to talk about Immutable X. And Immutable X is really the first layer two solution specifically built for NFTs. Uh, and they're able to use Ethereum security and they're built using Starkware. So they're built on a layer two. And um, this allows users to experience zero gas fees, instant trades, um, carbon neutral NFTs for marketplaces, games, applications without compromise. Uh, some, you know, there's some very prominent investment backers of this project um, that include Naspers, Gal Galaxy Digital, Coinbase, Apex Capital, Nirvana Capital, et cetera. Um, we know NFTs will make an enormous impact on our world. And it really just allows people to have digital ownership rights. And Immutable X will be the, at the forefront of this effort. Um, and this will really prevent people from having to use Ethereum mainnet, which can be slow. Uh, transaction fees can be high. But this will have the same securities guaranteed as Ethereum because um, they settle back with Ethereum using ZK rollups and Starkware technology. Um, you know, and they also have partnered with um, companies and gaming projects uh, such as TikTok, Ember Sword, Gods Unchained, Alluvium, uh, Gaming, uh, Gaming League, ESL. They've also partnered with Mintable, Planet Quest, Etter Last, and Vive, uh, who already hosted Disney on some NFTs, just to name a few. So you have to think with Facebook and many companies moving towards NFTs in the metaverse, the IMX will really take a great share of the total market. Currently, it sits only at a 922 million market cap. And I believe that this has potential to reach 10 billion um, this year. You can buy this on Coinbase, crypto.com. Um, and let's take a look at the chart. So here's the chart. Um, you know, this coin is really sort of newer. Uh, it hasn't traded for too long. Um, so, you know, as we're looking at this, uh, you know, we're trying to map out what might be, you know, a place to look. Um, we can take sort of from the bottom of this rally here, and then we can see it's really just gone through this accumulation phase. Uh, and uh, we're just starting to sort of break out of this, um, this downward uh, trending uh, wedge here. And, you know, we're sort of bottoming out. As you can see, we formed a little bit of a candle here that would signal a reversal. And now we sort of just been making higher lows um, here. And so if we're taking that and we're looking at targets, um, the top target here is $31. And for me, um, IMX is, is going to be a, an NFT play uh, since, um, you know, I've sold a decent amount of my NFTs so that I could buy different tokens so that I could um, start farming uh, some tokens uh, and use different DeFi protocols. So for me, I, you know, I have a few different NFT plays. As you saw my video previously, I talked about uh, YG, uh, YGG, Yield Guild Games. And this is just another uh, play on NFTs that I really think can do well. Um, and we're looking at you know, very low levels here. Like I said, it's only a 900 million market cap. It just launched. It really hasn't even gone through a full cycle or anything like that. Um, this has basically just been, you know, some some accumulation. Um, and so, you know, we're going to be looking for some of these higher targets, specifically for for um, IMX. Uh, next, we want to talk about DYDX. Um, DYDX is a decentralized trading platform powered by also powered by Starkware. So it's a layer two. So it's similar to IMX, and these are what I call the Starkware tokens. And I believe that Starkware is one of the most important um, technology advancements in the blockchain uh, history, basically. Uh, so this layer two settles back to Ethereum, again, it, just as well as IMX. And you really gain the low gas fees. Um, you gain, you know, um, there's no security lost. You get lightning quick trades, fast withdrawals. You get privacy. Uh, which is provided by ZK Rollup technology, which is different from the Ethereum mainnet, which you know people can see your public wallet address and your transactions and things like that if they were able to search for that. 
Um, trading volume has always constantly been pretty much whenever I look around $1 billion per day on a 24 hour time frame. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I, and, and it's backed by some of the best investors. You know, you can see the list here of investors that it's backed by um, some prominent ones, Andreessen Horowitz, Paradigm, Polychain, Brian Armstrong, Naval Ravikant, which I thought was interesting, um, Three Arrows Capital, and obviously many more. Um, you know, unfortunately, the only way I know how to access this token is through the Ethereum mainnet. Uh, so you can use Sushi, Uniswap, uh, but I would actually suggest using the MetaMask swap feature to be eligible for their upcoming airdrop. Um, if you use the MetaMask swap, uh, you know, that's apparently the rumor is that that's what you have to do to get the MetaMask token airdrop. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and yeah, so let's take a look at the DYX, DYDX chart. Um, honestly, like this chart is the same. Oh, it's sort of similar. It went up and then it's just been in this accumulation range. It was released a little bit um, earlier. So, you know, but it's pretty much the same. We've had this bottoming out process and now we're making higher lows here where we are today. Um, and so, you know, my first target would be looking around $25, which is about a 300% return from here. Um, that might be where I look to take some profits. Uh, we'll see um, maybe even $23 because that looks like a key level here uh, on the Fibonacci. Um, you know, DYDX, again, it's, it's an early stage, long, sort of longer term investment. Um, so, you know, I am, I am looking for bigger returns here as well. Um, I'm looking for maybe this, this top level here for sure as well on uh, DYDX. I think that these layer two solutions are the future, and this is a, a way that you can gain access to, to that. So I am looking at that for, for a really, you know, great year. The next one is a little bit under the radar. It's a Lido. Okay. Lido is a liquidity for staked assets. And um, it really just makes staking simple for crypto investors. Um, they provide liquid staking for Ethereum, Terra, Solana, and soon uh, Polygon Matic. So they really allow investors to, you know, um, stake and use those assets to be able to sell them, which you can't really currently do um, before Ethereum 2.0 goes online. So you can see. Um, they, you know, they also allow access for staked Ethereum and DeFi They, you know, um, but we can see some of their numbers here. They have a $12.3 billion in staked assets on their platform. They're one of the largest staking providers in the world, if not the largest. And I know for Ethereum, it's the same thing. They're one of the largest providers in the world. And I think that with Ethereum 2.0 coming up and with staking is going to be like in the headlines all year. Right. So we want to try to uh, capitalize on that. So this is really, you know, the main staking provider for Ethereum. I think that um, the more and more people can use Lido staked Ethereum, especially in DeFi, um, as you can see, they have an ecosystem here um, of DeFi providers that allow you to, you know, borrow against your staked Ethereum. They allow you to earn extra interest, you know, on Curve. I know you can earn the Lido token as a payment for um, being in a staked ETH, ETH uh, pool. So there's different things you can do with it, which is cool already. Um, I think that that will only increase as Ethereum 2.0 comes online. Uh, really, 2022 is the year of Ethereum. And, you know, these are sort of three plays that I believe, um, you know, you can really sort of rely on um, in that they are sort of a leverage play on different aspects of Ethereum, right? So you have the staking aspect of Ethereum for Lido. You have the DeFi uh, play, um, you know, exchange derivatives for DYDX. Um, and then you also have the NFT play uh, on layer twos, which is immutable X. And so I think these are three main areas of Ethereum. Obviously, I have a lot of other plays. So please follow my Twitter at crypto underscore bunker uh, for more of those other plays that I have. I've gone over those um, and, and I will continue to go over those in, in more videos coming up. Um, so let's take a look at the Lido chart uh, to finish it off. And this is not the DYDX chart, um, even though it looks exactly the same pretty much. Um, we just didn't really have as sustained of a rally, but we did come up um, to this $8 level. So we did have a rally to start this, accu this accumulation phase. And then we've just kind of formed this wedge. And as you can see, we're up 16% today. Um, so that's pretty crazy. Um, you know, but I, I do think we're, we're actually sort of about to break out on, on this, uh, this big resistance line here. 
as you can see, we've had, we had uh, failed breakouts before, but we had one, two, and usually the third breakout is the one uh, that we can see uh, sort of take us to where we want to go. Um, if we take this sort of possible measure move, um, we would take, you know, look for our first targets, maybe around the all time highs, uh, you know, eight, 885, maybe 822 would be conservative, maybe 750. Um, if you're looking for that, uh, for me personally, um, this is such a small coin. It's only a $70 million market cap and they have $12 billion locked. So I'm looking for maybe a 10 X at the least that would only be 700 million. Um, I do think this has the potential to be a hundred X, even though it's just a Dow token, this has really, um, not many utility factors to it yet, but I do think it's one of the most important DAOs in the industry to really decentralize Ethereum um, in terms of the validators who are staking with the Ethereum network. We want to make sure that it's decentralized. And I think that Lido is moving towards being a decentralized um, staking provider. Uh, you know, they are um, using many different validators at this point. They already have extended that and they will continue to extend that out um, as they can. And so it's a very important protocol for the Ethereum ecosystem. And so what I'm looking for, uh, as you can see, the top of the range is around $29, um, conservatively, you know, the 1618, uh, even the 2618 at 19, you know, those are two other target levels if you want to look at those. Um, but yeah, that's all I had for today. Hopefully you guys got something out of the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so like the video and have a great New Year. Happy New Year's. And uh, we'll see you next time.